Arsenal are on the verge of making their first summer signing and I'm absolutely fuming about it. I'll be honest, I am absolutely fuming. As a Tottenham fan, I've wanted Ricardo Calafuri now for a number of weeks. I saw him at the back end of last season. He went into the Euros, continued that form and genuinely was one of the best out and out defenders. And now it looks like he is on the cusp of joining Arsenal. Oh, it's just a massive kick in the teeth, this. Make sure you go down, drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're an Arsenal fan, Liverpool fan, Man United, or even a Spurs fan on Arsenal, potentially, well, it's not potentially, they are on the verge of signing Ricardo Calafuri. And let me explain to you why this is such a big signing. We'll bring up the report here. This was 13 hours ago, and now since then there is an updated one. This is coming out from the standard and it says Arsenal closing in on deal to sign Ricardo Calafuri. Ricardo Calafuri is a man in demand, having impressed for Bologna before having a rare shining light for Italy at Euro 2024. The, the demand, sorry, the defender was wanted by both Arsenal and Chelsea. And now, according to Gian Gianluca Di Marzio, he is chosen Arsenal over the two. And obviously he snubbed Tottenham. Fabrizio Romano came out yesterday with an update on it as well. Uh, well, I, I'm absolutely fuming. Absolutely fuming. He He's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. He's a defender who loves to defend. He loves to defend. He's got all of the capabilities to fit in to an Arteta system. He can play left back. He can play left-sided centre-back. And he has even played... Um, at left side in midfield. And he's, according to Fabrizio Romano, he has given the green light to Arsenal. Now, let me explain to you why this is such huge, huge news and huge, a bit of a statement to everyone else in the Premier League. So the first report was from uh, Romano saying, Arsenal have presented a long-term proposal to Ricardo Calafuri after interest revealed last week. I understand the player is open to joining Arsenal after they agreed terms with Bologna. Chelsea is still there. Basically, he told Chelsea... <laughs> Jog on, not interested. So that is quite funny. Then it said Arsenal are preparing more contacts over Ricardo Calafuri for a deal on both player and club side. Excellent relationship with Bologna after the Tommy Asu deal, price around 50 million euros. Now, let me explain to you why this is such a good signing. The weak link that has been a fawning Arsenal side in some games has been that left back position. And to be fair to Arteta, he's done extremely well. He's brought through Kivior. He's brought through Tommy Asu. Now, they're both more dominantly centre-backs, but they've done a very good job at that left uh, left back. Zinchenko is brilliant in games in which you are dominating possession and you are playing against a low block. You can really get a lot out of Zinchenko. However... When you're playing against a team where you're coming up against a, a natural winger who can go down the byline, also come on the inside, is bow-footed and got blistering pace, Zinchenko gets destroyed in the 1v1 situations. You are bringing in, Arsenal are bringing in, and yes, I am going to say this, but he gives me Maldini vibes. He loves a tackle. He's very, very, very strong in the air. He can put, he's good at going forward into that midfield position, which is what Arsenal love. And the fact he is only 22 years of age, this might be, and yes, it is a, it's an early call, but yes, it might be signing of the window or, like already. He is that good. He's got three years left in his contract at Bologna. And let's not forget, Bologna had a fantastic season last year. They got back into Europe. Thiago Motta leaves Bologna joins Juventus and gets on the blow. And he's like, look, I want you to come and play for us as well. And he's like, do you know what? I want, I want bigger, bigger, I want this bigger fish out there. And Arsenal are battling for Premier League titles now. This is the sort of signing. Alex Ferguson always said, when you're on top, you keep building. You keep signing players when you're on top. And genuinely, if they bring in, if Arsenal bring in Ricardo Calafuri, this is a, it's a huge signing and they're not slowing down by any stretch of the imagination. 
Now, one thing people are going to say is, oh, but he's a centre back. Can he play? Can he play left back? One thing that Arteta and what Guardiola have done is they've brought in centre backs who are versatile, who can play a number of different positions. And what Manchester City have done is they've brought through the likes of Ake, they've brought through the likes of Vardy Al, they've brought through the likes of this player and that player, Diaz, you know, John Stones. They're all centre backs, but what what they can also offer in which which is what a lot of other centre backs can't do now is playing in different positions, which is fullback. And even John Stones goes into that midfield. When you look at Manchester City and Arsenal, because they are very similar. They both love the press. They both love high possession, one-touch pass move football. They both have got brilliant wire players. They've both got a very balanced team and a strong defence. But Arsenal have taken that defence to, like, invincible levels. Ben White, who is arguably the best right-back in the league last season, the best centre-back pairing in Gabriel and Saliba, and now you're throwing Ricardo Calafuri in that left-back position. What I also think this does is... I think this moves Yuri and Timber into a potential midfield position. And look at the back, look at the depth they've got. Tomiyasu, Kivior, Zinchenko, and they've got the likes of Timber. This is I, I expect now that Zinchenko probably will be sold. Maybe in the next few weeks slash months. I think he probably will be sold. But this is an absolutely ridiculous signing. Like this is unreal. For me. Out of all the players, I mean, Tottenham have just signed a very, very, very good youngster in Archie Gray, who will go on to be a top, top talent in, in the next couple of years. But you're signing a player who's 22 years of age, who's done it on an international stage, who's had a very, very, very good time in Italy. He's played for a number of clubs. He's played for Roma. He's played for Bologna. He's played for Genoa. Um, he's played in Switzerland as well at Basel. You know, he's already got 129 games in his career and he's only, he just turned 22. He's got Champions League experience, Conference League experience and Europa League experience. He ticks every single box that Arsenal have got. Now, the question mark is going to be, like I said, with regards to Timber, I can see him playing in midfield now. I can see Arsenal moving him to a midfield position. And I don't think that will be, I think that would actually be a relatively good um, thing for, for Arsenal to do because. You know, the likes of Jorginho is good on the ball, but doesn't have the legs, whereas Timber loves to, you know, at, at times when he was playing in Holland, you know, just like the rest of the Arsenal team, very versatile, can get forward, can get back. I could kind of see him now in a double pivot with Declan Rice and then Odegaard just sitting in front in some games. Or other games, you know, let's not forget, Arsenal are going to be in the Champions League, FA Cup, Premier League and, and League Cup. Squad rotation is going to be very, 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 very important. But if if they, it's not if, when they get the signing over the line, I am going to be absolutely furious because they are picking up an absolute gem in Ricardo Calafuri. Tottenham have been linked to him because of the likes of Paratici. has got a very good understanding of the Italian market. The likes of Udogi, Vicario, Christian Romero, Benzancourt, Kulazewski, even before that, Galini on loan. He's got a very good understanding of that market. And he's been outlining Ricardo Calafuri for a very long time. And now it looks like he is going to join. <sighs> now it looks like he's going to join Arsenal, which is just a massive, massive kick in the teeth. He's given the green light. He wants to move. So, yeah, I, I, look, as far, as far as it goes in terms of just, just the start of the window, as, I, as I've been saying for a very, very long time on, on this channel and my Tottenham one as well, it's the beginning of the transfer window and you've got two major tournaments happening right now. I think it's a very, very, very good sign. You know, Tottenham brought in an 18-year-old. Aston Villa have brought in a left back. West Ham now are looking at getting rid of Paqueta due to his outside of football situations. There's not too much business going on, but this right now sits at, top, at the top of the tree because he genuinely is a top, top player. Loves to defend, can get forward, can play in that left side of midfield position. So if you put him at left back, you know he's going to invert into the midfield. He's very strong in the air. Loves loves a loves a duel. You know, it has got like leadership capabilities already in his game. Done it on a took that form from last season into the Euros. For me, 
like signing of the window when this happens. Signing, I'm telling you guys, he's that good. Make sure you go down, drop a like as always. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.